BX60 input circuit consists of a 470K resistor sister You know, is fair to middle in as far as a load for a, a high impedance piezoelectric microphonium. So what I do is I swap the 2.2 they go into the grid of the uh, uh, 67 and the 22 megaohm resistor now becomes the grid resistor for the first stage and the 470k resistor on the input gets removed. You know, other things like, uh, you know, hump pickup is uh, a big problem. A big problem with the X60, so I move the microphonium jack right up above the pilot light. You know, you have your microphonium connector, uh, neon. And then there's space above the field like, So I just drill a hole and mount the uh, a corner inch pad there. And then right through the grid of the uh, first stage of the Mobe X7 is. The chassis is a little eight inch hole. And bring the uh, wire, in a short piece of hookup wire, right from the grid pin directly up to the hole. value, I could double on five or double on one, uh, open the capacitor of the tubular type, not of this ceramic. Well, it's only this ceramics for audio work. <clears throat> capacitor there, the 22 mega ohm resistor and a 100 pump RF bypass from the grid to ground. All up above on a terminal strip. Into the chassis and be that everything is up above. There is there are no AC power, there's no wiring or anything that will cut those plumbing things. So it's actually uh, well shielded, especially when you have the cabinet on it. So in place of the brick of the connector on the front panel, the original one, there now is the uh, an audio game part. And in the stock DX60, they use a 100 feet in front. They're that in place. That's the very, the very tall picture now. So, you know, I use like a 500K or a 1 meter in the uh, The radio game is still stuck with the uh, 2005 couple capacitors. Thank you. 